everyone, and welcome to English for You. I'm Erin, and I'm Elsie. Elsie, can you tell me about health classes in Taiwan? Health classes. What、mm-hmm. do you mean? Well, do you have health classes at school,、mm-hmm. and what types of things do you learn in them? If you do. Yes, we do have health classes. I remember when I was at school,、mm-hmm. we learned about physical differences of men and women. Okay, that was when I was in the the elementary school.、Mm-hmm. And at high school, we girls learned how to properly use a pad during periods. Okay. What did you learn in health classes at school, Erin?、Uh, a lot of the same.、Mm-hmm. We didn't actually learn how to use pads, but we did learn about our periods and sort of what it meant、mm-hmm. and、um, kind of how all of that stuff worked. Cool. You know. So, I think today's article is actually about one Taiwanese woman、mm-hmm. who's trying to change people's view of women's health in Nepal. Wow! So let's read on to find out what she's doing. Reading. Lin Nianzi creates a brighter future for Nepalese women in rural Nepal. There is a shocking lack of education about women's health. In particular, ignorance about women's periods has led to unsafe practices that put women there in danger. One activist, Lin Nianzi, is trying to help solve these problems through a powerful project, the Darti Mata Sustainable Workshop. Through it. Lin is making a difference in three major ways. She's breaking the stigma of periods, giving local women job opportunities, and producing eco-friendly sanitary pads. One belief Lin addresses in the workshop is that menstruating women are impure. For centuries, girls and women have been forced to sleep in cow barns or poorly built huts. While menstruating, because of this idea, some of these women have frozen to death during cold winters. Others have been robbed or harmed by men who see them as easy targets. Though this practice was outlawed in 2005, it hasn't disappeared completely. Another concern is that many women in Nepal's small villages. Can't afford disposable sanitary pads. Instead, they use pieces of old cloth. Unfortunately, this is very unhygienic and can result in major health problems. All right, let's get straight into our article today. It says here in the first line, in rural Nepal, there is a shocking lack of education about women's health. Okay, so the first thing we need to learn about this article is that it's taking place in rural Nepal. Now, rural is an adjective, and it describes things that are related to the countryside or that can be found in the countryside. Now, the opposite of this word is urban, and that word describes things in or related to the city. Urban is spelled U R B A N. Urban. Now, as an example of rural, we could say the schools in rural areas are often a lot smaller than those in big cities. Rural 这个形容词呢是农村的、乡村的。那 rural areas 代表就是乡村地区。那我们文章一开头说到呢，在尼泊尔的乡村地区，有一项知识是严重缺乏的，是什么呢 ？It's a lack of education about women's health. That's right. So let's look at this phrase, lack of something. Now, a lack of something means you don't have enough of something, or you have none of something. Such as this example here, Jerry's lack of patience when it comes to young children means he would not be a good kindergarten teacher. Lack of something、mm-hmm. 代表是缺乏某事物。那 lack 在这个片语当中呢是一个名词哦。不过 lack 本身也可以当动词来用。For example, he lacks confidence.、Mm-hmm. 代表他缺乏自信，或者是我们也可以说 ，What we lack in our classroom is lockers and ACs.、Mm. 我们教室缺乏的是置物柜和冷气。Mm-hmm. Okay, back to the article. We've learned that the lack of education about women's health is a huge problem. That's right, and it goes on to say, in particular. 
ignorance about women's periods has led to unsafe practices that put women there in danger. All right, so let's talk about this phrase in particular. Now we use this phrase to mean especially. What we're saying here, here is that a lack of women's health information in Nepal has become is especially true when it comes to their periods. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As this example says, we could say, "I thought all the essays were great. Jessica's, in particular, was excellent." In particular, 简单来说就是尤其特别的意思、mm -hmm. What about the word ignorance? Ignorance? It, it, that's a good question. Let's find out about it now. We're talking about the word ignorance here, which is a noun. Now, ignorance is the situation when you don't have information about something, or when you don't know about something. Now, we all have ignorance about things before we learn about them. Then, after you learn about these things, you no longer have ignorance. Here's an example: When you're driving a car, ignorance is not a good excuse for breaking the law. You should know the rules before you start driving. Ignorance is a noun, that means ignorance. Ignorance about something means ignorance about something. That 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 means Ignorance about women's periods has led to some problems. That's right. So, lead to something is another phrase we're going to look at in this article. When one thing leads to another、mm -hmm. thing, it causes it to happen or become true. Now, the lack of information about periods causes big problems, is what we're saying here. So another example, we could say Harriet's illness led to her failing or falling behind at school, so she had to work hard to catch up. A lead to B 代表 A 导致 B 这件事的发生 or you, we can use the word cause、mm -hmm. C A U S E cause、mm -hmm. 也是导致的意思。那在 lead to 这个片语当中呢 ，to 是个介系词哦，所以呢，你后面必须要加的是名词或者是动名词。那像在例句中，我们说的是 her falling behind at school 这件事情，它是。在学校里面成绩落后的，那文章里面则是用现在完成式 has led 来表示。What has it led to? Unsafe practices that put women there in danger， 让女性暴露在危险之中的不安全行为。That's right. Okay. Well, we know what the problem is now. The problem. Let's try to find out what's going to fix it or、okay. who. All right. It says here one activist. Lin Yanzi is trying to help solve these problems through a powerful project, the Darti Mata Sustainable Workshop. Darti Mata Sustainable Workshop. Yes. Wow, it's a long name.、Mm -hmm. We'll talk about that name later. Yes. Okay. Activist 这个名词呢是行动主义者，也就是他会积极行动、执行事项的人。那 Darti Mata 它是在尼泊尔文及梵文当中。意义是 Mother Earth， 大地母亲的意思。那 Sustainable 则是永续发展的。那最后的 Workshop， 同学们一定都知道是工作坊。They hope to create eco-friendly,、mm -hmm. women-friendly,、mm -hmm. and family-friendly products. That's right. Which is which are all really great things to do. Right. Okay. So let's find out what this workshop plans to do and how Lynn is going to do it. It says here. <clears throat> Through it, Lynn is making a difference in three major ways. Now, major here, of course, just means main or important. So,、mm -hmm. what are these three major ways? Well, it says she's breaking the stigma of periods, giving local women job opportunities, wow, and producing eco-friendly sanitary pads. So, three things at the same time.、Mm -hmm. Okay, stigma 这个字是耻辱或是不公正的恶名。所以呢，除了破除当地人对女性越式的控指控，凝练词呢还试着给当地女性工作机会 （job opportunities），、mm -hmm. 还有就是生产环保的卫生面。Okay, so 
There is a really, really big stigma in Nepal,、mm -hmm. and that is explained in this sentence here. It says one belief Lynn addresses in the workshop is that menstruating women are impure. Menstruating women、mm -hmm. 代表是月经来的女性 ，impure 这个字是不纯洁的、不干净的。Mm -hmm. 所以凝凝练词呢，特别要处理的是当地人觉得月经来的女性不洁净的这个问题。It's hard to believe that they still have this belief. You know. It, it's hard to believe for us because we live in a big city where、mm -hmm. we are educated about、yeah. these things. But that is not the same case for women in rural Nepal. Right. In fact, the article explains that more. It says, for centuries, girls and women have been forced to sleep in cow barns or poorly built huts while menstruating because of this idea. We saw in that sentence that women and girls were often forced to sleep in cow barns. Now, a barn is a large building on a farm that farmers keep their crops in or animals live in. Now, sometimes barns can just be plain, open-style buildings for storing things that you don't have room for in your house. In either case, a barn is just a large. Building where things are kept, and it's not really heated. It's kind of outside of the house. There are no bathrooms inside it. That sort of thing. Here's an example sentence: The kids don't like going in the barn because they think the animals smell funny. Barn 这个字呢是谷仓，那它代表就是可以养动物或者是放置机器的地方。So they might sleep in barns、mm -hmm. or. Little huts. That's right. And we said they might sleep in poorly built huts. Now, a hut is a small, simple building with only one or two rooms. Now, it's usually not built as well as a house, and it can be very cold. It can be very wet if it rains.、Mm -hmm. It it's kind of just like a, just like a small house that you sort of. Build, but it doesn't. It's not built to keep you warm or be a permanent house. It's、mm -hmm. sort of just something that will help you out if you really need it. For example, in this sentence, we say the hiker stayed in a small cold hut halfway up the mountain before continuing their journey. 所以呢，我们说 hut 它指的是简陋的小屋哦。那本来。不是让人就是月经来的时候去睡觉的。那因为这个观念呢，也就是月经来的女性不洁净的这个观念，好几个世纪下来，月经来的女性被迫睡在 barns 谷仓或者是简陋的小屋当中。Mm -hmm. It has been very unfair to them. That is right. In fact, these huts and these barns are so unsuitable or unsuitable for these women to sleep in that the article, in fact, says some of these women have frozen to death. During cold winters, 有一些女生呢，还因此在冬天因为睡在那边，活活的被冷死。And、mm -hmm. that's not all. Yeah, you're right. It also says others have been robbed or harmed by men who see them as easy targets. Now we talked about women in the barns or huts being robbed. Now, rob is a verb, and when you rob someone, you steal from that person by threatening to hurt them or by using a weapon. For example, the man robbed the woman by threatening to hurt her with a knife if she didn't give him her purse. Rob 这个动词呢是抢劫、盗取。那它的过去式和过去分词呢？我们要重复字尾 b， 再加上 ed， 变成 robbed。那文章中用到的是现在完成被动式 ，have been robbed、mm.。有些女性呢还被抢或是被伤害。All right, well, let's take a quick break here to talk about the grammar pattern in that sentence. 今天的英文练功房呢，我们要看到的是把 a 视为或是认为 b 这样的用法该怎么说呢？因为我们可以用到 see, view, regard。或者是 think of， 还有 look upon 这些片语来说，那后面再加上 a， 接着我们说 as， 再加上 b。For example， I view my three best friends as my family。我把我三位最好的朋友视为我的家人。或者是 she still thinks of her son as a little boy. 她还是把她的儿子视为小男孩。这些我们都可以用上述的单字或片语来带出。
All right, so a lot of really negative things happening here. These women, when they are having their periods, they're not allowed to sleep in their houses. They have to sleep in barns or huts. And what, what can happen to them is that they can even die overnight because mm -hmm. it's so cold. Or they get robbed, people steal from them, or men might hurt them in some right. other ways, right? Did the government do anything? Well, it says here in the article, though this practice was outlawed in 2005, it hasn't disappeared completely. In fact, I've been hearing about this in the news even up until 2018. Wow. There are still some people hurting menstruating women. That's right. Okay, so another reason, or uh, let's talk about another thing in mm -hmm. here in the article. It says, another concern is that many women in Nepal's small villages can't afford disposable sanitary pads. Now, what we're saying here is we're using the word afford here, okay? So it's a verb, and we almost always use this verb with the auxiliary verb can or could. Now, when you can afford something, it means you have the money to pay for something. But when you can't afford something, you don't have enough money to pay for that thing. Like this example here. Frank can afford to buy lots of nice things because his job pays him well. Afford 这个动词代表有财力，买得起，付得起某个物品。Afford something 后面可以直接加那个东西，代表你买得起，付得起那个东西，或者是我们说 afford to buy something 也可以。Mm -hmm. So they can afford disposable sanitary pads.、Mm -hmm. Disposable 这个形容词呢是可抛弃式的。那他们没有办法负担这样可抛弃式的卫生棉。So what do they use instead? Well, it says here in the article, instead they use pieces of old. Cloth. Now, cloth is a material that we use for making clothes. It can be made of different things like cotton or polyester. And in fact, even just looking at this,、mm -hmm. this is made with a certain type of cloth. It's just something we use to make clothing. Cloth, 布料那它是不可数的，所以一块布、两块布，我们用什么单位呢？我们要用 a piece of cloth.、Mm -hmm. So they use pieces of old cloth, and they are not disposable. Right. They probably try to wash them every month、mm -hmm. and try to use them again, but that causes a lot of problems. It says here, unfortunately, this is very unhygienic and can result in major health problems. 我们之前学过 hygiene， 它是卫生。那形容词是 hygienic， 卫生的。那不卫生的就在字首加个 un。Unhygienic 就是不卫生的、不干净的。And this can result in major health problems. That's right. So this phrase "result in something" is very similar to the "lead to something" phrase we saw earlier. So when one thing results in another thing, it causes that other thing to happen or be true. Of course, this is very similar to lead to, like we talked about. And here's an example sentence: Harriet's illness resulted in her falling behind at school, so she had to work hard to catch up. You see what I did there? I just took the last sentence and replaced the words lead to with resulted in. That's right.、Mm -hmm. Result in something 导致某个结果 In 它是一个介系词，所以你后面还是一样加名词或动名词，跟刚刚的 lead to 的用法是一模一样的。Mm -hmm. So at the end of today's article, can we also say this is very unhygienic、mm -hmm. and can lead to major health problems? Yes, we can also replace the word just with cause. Cause,、mm -hmm. 导致 Lots of different ways to say that idea. And we've come、mm -hmm. to the end of today's article.、Mm -hmm. In tomorrow's article, we'll talk more about the Dardy Mara Sun Sustainable Workshop. You got it. All、okay. right. Let's go to our for you chat. Right. For you chat. All right. Welcome back to for you chat. Our question today is a very important one, actually.、Mm -hmm. What do you think is the best way to change a stigma? Please discuss. 
I think people should get more informed about the facts. That is right. Ignorance is not an excuse. Right.、Mm -hmm. And they should be more educated.、Mm -hmm. And don't be silent about what you see and what you think is not right. That's right. That's a big one too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Make the world know the problem. Still exists,、mm -hmm. and fight against the problem together. Right. So raising awareness of issues. Yes.、Mm -hmm. Going and learning about the issue yourself, learning how you could fix the problem. Right. Maybe you can't fix the whole thing, but you can help. You can. Raise raise pe other people's awareness. You could go and work with people who need help. There are lots of things you can do to change a stigma.、Mm -hmm. And you know what, Elsie? I especially liked your idea about not being silent when you think、right. something is wrong. This is a big thing. We should we should. Raise our voices and talk about these things, so that we can show other people how they're wrong and how we can make them better. Right.、Mm -hmm. You guys might have some ideas too. This is a really important topic for everyone to talk about because there are a lot of stigmas that exist in the world today, even here in Taiwan. So, go and talk about those with your friends and classmates, and talk about them with your teacher too. We're out of time for today, so we'll see you again tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye. Lin Nianzi creates a brighter future for Nepalese women. In rural Nepal, there is a shocking lack of education about women's health. In particular, ignorance about women's periods has led to unsafe practices that put women there in danger. One activist, Lin Nianzi. Is trying to help solve these problems through a powerful project, the Darti Mata Sustainable Workshop. Through it, Lin is making a difference in three major ways. She's breaking the stigma of periods, giving local women job opportunities, and producing eco-friendly sanitary pads. One belief Lin addresses in the workshop is that menstruating women are impure. For centuries, girls and women have been forced to sleep in cow barns or poorly built huts while menstruating because of this idea. Some of these women have frozen to death during cold winters. Others have been robbed or harmed by men who see them as easy targets. Though this practice was outlawed in 2005, it hasn't disappeared completely. Another concern is that many women in Nepal's small villages can't afford disposable sanitary pads. Instead, they use pieces of old cloth. Unfortunately, this is very unhygienic and can result in major health problems. Vocabulary review. Rural. Emma hates the noise of the city. She prefers her quiet rural life on a farm. Ignorance. The tourist's ignorance of local laws and customs got him in trouble with the police. Barn. Our family used to keep cows in the barn, but now we only keep farming tools. Hut. During the harvest, people slept in huts near the fields so they could start work earlier. Rob, a person wearing a ski mask and holding a gun, robbed a bank yesterday. Afford, Kyle can't afford to live by himself, so he shares the apartment with one other person.以上节目是由活用空中美语制作，活用空中美语杂志，请洽询全国各大书店。如遇索取，试听教材，请来电零二二三六四四零零零零二二三六四四零零零，或上网查询网址是triple w dot english 四 u dot net triple w dot english 四